This is Al from Doth, and you're watching MPJ. It's been our most successful tour yet. Actually, lots of people were like, what are you doing touring with these bands? You don't sound anything like them, blah, blah, blah. But interestingly enough, the audience has given us the best reaction we've ever had besides touring in Japan. So what can I say? The tour's been great. Our merch has been doing awesome. The album's been moving. Crazy pits most nights. I don't know about tonight, but yeah, it's been fantastic. Very cool. Um, and you said Japan, you guys are big over there, or? I don't know. We, we've only been there once, and it was amazing, so, um, I think we're bigger there than we are here. I wanted to ask you a little bit about your name. Um, I've heard it in the Kabbalion, and on your website, there was a thing with your ex-keyboard player that yeah. kind of explained it a little bit. Can you tell me a little? Well, we don't do that anymore, because now that he's gone, um, it's... It, it kind of has more to do with uh, what the rest of us want, and none of us are into that. So that's kind of out the window, but I will tell you that the name means abyss. new album hasn't been out very long. It came out April 21st, The Concealers. Can you tell me a little bit about that? <laughs> it's funny that uh, some guy that did a video review on the album called it The Counselors, because obviously he was illiterate. So if he's watching this, <laughs> I will uh, say, get some English lessons. But... Um, yeah, it's been out for about two weeks in the States, and nine out of ten people think that it crushes anything we've ever done in the past, so we're happy with the reaction, and it's going great. Uh, we didn't used to move numbers like these at shows on the last record, so everything indicates uh, positive to me. You guys also have a different lineup from the last album. Uh, can you tell me about the new people and how you found them? It's only one dude. We have a new vocalist and I don't even think he's the new vocalist anymore because he's been in the band for over a year now. Right. And he toured with us on the last record cycle, so not exactly new anymore. But yeah, we're now a five piece. We used to be a six piece. We did away with keyboards because who needs them when you play what we play. Uh, because we kind of changed our sound a little bit to be more guitar oriented so keys are kind of a thing of the past for the time being and uh, our new front man Sean Z what can I say he brought the band together uh, gave it the glue it needed and he kills audiences every single night he's a great motherfucker to have in the band always has something positive to add to any situation no matter how negative I can't say enough about the dude and he's got a killer beard <laughs> Yeah, he definitely did very good tonight getting the crowd going. So. Yeah, especially with such a dead crowd. God, it's like waking up the dead tonight. <laughs> oh, dear. But, yeah, he woke them up. So, so that was good. <laughs> yeah, special powers, you know. <laughs> Excellent. Um, now, you guys also shot a new video. Was that out yet um, yeah. for the Day of the Endless Light? No, it'll be out at the end of May, I believe, because um, it's going to have a lot of animation. Um, which takes a long time, and we uh, we shot it in the middle of March. It's just it's kind of interesting that we are the smallest part of the equation with the video. Yeah. The video uh, they've been animating it for like two months now. Well, have you guys got to check any of it out yet? Nope, it's nope. Crap shoot, right? <laughs> Hopefully not. No, I don't <laughs> think so. We have a really really great team working on it, but it's just kind of interesting to uh, show up one day two and a half months ago or something like that, play our asses off, and then that's it. That's the that's the end of our involvement. Wow. Yeah. Um, do you know what they're doing with the animation? It's going to look like our album art meets Sin City. Oh, cool. The album art is really cool, too. I'm glad you like it. Um, it almost reminds me a little bit of, like, the old etchings, kind of, too. It's really cool looking. So can you tell me a little about that? Yeah. Um, we are all into a band called Mindless Self-Indulgence, and uh, I was turned on to them by Emil, our other guitar player. And uh, I guess he found their artist. His name is Jordan Haley. And uh, he had a clothing line called Bird of Prey. And uh, I guess we got an endorsement with it. And 
where like this artwork fits the band better than anybody else. And we've worked with a bunch of people who do metal bands and have never had any luck finding like our dude. And uh, we hit him up, and he started working for us. And what can I say? The to explain the situation better, I'll just say that the artwork is completely covered with blades of all s of all shapes and sizes, forms, axes, knives, switch blades, whatever. And uh, the first track on the CD is called Sharpen the Blades, and we didn't even tell him that. And just we're on the same page. I think sometimes, too, the album cover really is important because you want to be able to grab it if it's still on the shelves or if people are scrolling through the different websites that sell, like, the MP3s and whatnot, mm -hmm. too. I agree. That's why we chose to work with a legit artist, because um, I, I think our layout is an actual work of art that you can look at six months from now, two years from now, and you'll find more things in it than you did the day you bought it. Um, I think that that adds more value to the entire package and makes it more memorable in a day and age where people don't give a fuck about CDs anymore. They give them a little bit more, you know? Yeah, well... I'm a lot of people buy the CDs, too, for the artwork now. I mean, it's almost the same downloading uh, from, like, the different sites that you can pay for. But uh, I like the extra artwork and having it something so physically in my hands. So. Well, that's cool. Very cool. It's your other guitar player, right, that was doing lessons while you were out on tour? Yeah, Emil does lessons while we tour. How does that fit into everything? Can you? I mean, I know it's not you, but can you tell us a little bit? Well, before Doth went... Uh, full time or whatever you want to call it um, he was teaching like 50 students a week and that's that's part of his profession Emil is guitar like anything guitar oriented he he just kills and uh, it only makes sense that uh, he should offer lessons on the road because hell man if I was a 15 year old kid wanting to learn how to play guitar I'd want to take lessons from him because he's a fucking god so there you have it very cool. And also, if you go to their MySpace page, they show a little video clip of him doing it. And there's also the information there how if you want to take lessons with him, you can. Yeah. If uh, you want to learn how to play guitar, you should take lessons with him. Now, does he do it, you know, um, is it just uh, guitar players that know how to play or new people, too? Or don't you really know? I think he'll teach people of all levels. Very cool. Um, okay. Now you guys are out again with Dragon Force. The tour ends in a few days, and then you guys will be hitting up with uh, Goat Horror, I think yeah. it is. Um, next month, is that? Are we in May right we now? We are. Okay. <laughs> yeah, then it's next month, starting on the 24th, on tour with Goat Horror and Abigail Williams. Goat <laughs> Horror are the funnest band on earth to tour with, so we cannot wait. Very cool. And that's in North America, that tour. What else do you guys have going on besides that? Anything else in the works? We're doing a bunch of festivals in August in Europe, and uh, more music, a lot more music and a lot more touring. We're working on it all. Uh, we're not going to let up for a while on this, because we took such a, an extended break after the Hinderers record cycle that we're going to be hitting. We're going to be hitting every market we possibly can multiple times for the Concealers album cycle, and uh, also doing some new music along the way. And also, Emil and I are doing a solo record, or a duo record, with Sean Reiner from Cynic. It's going to come out on Magna Carta Records. It's going to be completely instrumental, just insane music with us and him. Oh, very cool. When does that come out? Hopefully by the end of the year. Once again, we're here with Ayala Doth. Uh, their new album is The Concealers. Remember, support your artists by the albums. This has been an edition of Musician Photo Journal.